Good morning guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. So this is just pretty much going to be a video on how to use the Embrilliant software. So how to, we're going to just pretty much start from the beginning. We're just going to go ahead and um, go to Etsy, buy a design, then we're going to download it and we're going to edit it in Embrilliant, add a name. Um, pretty basic. So I'm thinking maybe we can do a, uh, I'm thinking let's go for like a Halloween design since it is almost October. So we can do like a Halloween-ish design. So I'm going to go ahead and search Halloween designs on Etsy. And I will show you guys exactly what I'm doing, exactly where I buy it. I'm just going to share the screen. This is that software I tried to use yesterday when I went live. Um, so hopefully it works out, guys. All right, let's see. Let me try to turn the camera around. Okay, so here we are on Etsy, and I'm just going to search Halloween applique designs. Okay, so we're going to try to find something kind of easy-ish to make. Maybe something for Riley. Let's see. What can I find? Do, do, do. Let me close some of these tabs. Um, let's see. So here is one I like. Um, Frankenstein design, and it is by So Embroidable. As you can see, that's their Etsy shop. And like I, someone had mentioned in the live yesterday that um, they had purchased a design off Etsy and they got taken around for copyright, taken down for copyright. So um, if you see right here, it says read the description for purchasing. So um, it says instant download, hoop size. Um, let me see. Copyright terms of use. They own the copyright to the file. By purchasing the file, you agree to all the following terms. You may use this design for your personal use. You may use design for finished products you sell. So, and you may not use this for heat transfer or vinyl. So, it says I can use this design for finished products I sell. So, it's clear. I can use it. I can sell something from it. So, I'm going to just go ahead and buy this. And I'll do that off screen. Okay, so I have uh, purchased it and I downloaded it to uh, my computer. So this is the Embrilliant software. This is what it looks like. Um, so you click on this right here, which is says merge a stitch file. You'll click that button. And I go to my downloads and it was called, I believe, Frankie something. Frankie Circle, which is here. And right here you would choose what embroidery format you need. Brother Machines use PES. Baby Lock uses PES. Um, Melco can use PES. Um, DST is for like Racoma. I don't know the rest of them. I'm guessing HUS might be Husqvarna. I'm not 100% sure though. Um, but I'm going to click PES. And then you pick the size you need. So where it says 4x4.PES means it's going to fit in a 4x4 hoop. 5 by 7 means it'll fit in a 5 by 7 hoop, 6 by 10, and 6 by 10 hoop, and 9 by 9, 9 by 9 hoop. I have my hoop set up as a 7 and 7 eighths inch, which you can see here at the bottom. Um, I'm going to choose the 5 by 7, so it comes in sideways. So what I'm going to do is rotate him, which is right here, so he's right side up. And this is all the space I have in my hoop to use. That shows you the size of your hoop. I can zoom out a little bit so you guys can see more. But that's what that shows you. So I'm just using the up arrow and moving him up. Now, if you don't have this size hoop, to change your hoop size, you would click Show Preferences Window. And you can pick which type of machine you have. So... I have a dot, I have PES brother machine, so it tells you 14 by 4, and some of them actually even tell you multi needles, Alismo Quattro, 
Um, on the hoop, it gives you the millimeter sizing, but if you click on it, like right here, it says approximately 4 by 7. 130, 180 is a 5 by 7 hoop, and you can also rotate it. But like I said, I'm going to do this on a big hoop, so it is 200 by 200, which is an 8 by 8 hoop. So that is how I made the hoop big, if that's a question you guys have. So now I'm going to change the colors. So it tells you here what, what the colors are. So why you see the uh, turquoise and pink colors is because those are cut lines and stitch lines. Um, I don't use Robinson Anton thread. I'm just going to click preferred. That's just because I have my brother colors. So um, for the for the cut lines, they can be whatever colors you want because you will not see these. The first one is called, I think the, what it's really called is, I think a cut line or tack, I think a cut line and then the second color would be the tack down. So this pretty much means, and you can see here, if I go and I show you, it shows you what it'll do first. So first it's going to do the little parts of the circle. So then you would put your fabric down here and then it'll stitch over it, which is a tack down stitch. And then it's going to do the same thing. Same thing all the way through. Then it starts the thick stitching, which is called satin stitching. So pretty much here, if you have a multi-needle machine, then I what I like to do is use colors that are already going to be in the design. So I'm going to change the colors that I have here to colors I actually like. Um, let's see. I'm going to turn his face dark green. Let's see, let's see. So moss green. Um, his hair is already black. His eyes I'll make. Hmm. I guess green. I don't know how that'll look. <laughs> okay. Green and the outline. I want it to be a darker orange. This is the best orange this one has. Um, and his little things I'm going to make silver. And let's see what else is there. Is that it? His eyes are white. Okay, cool. So that works. So down here it tells you how many needles or colors are on this design. This design has eight colors, but like I said, I'm going to switch these out, the tap down and placement line, so that um, it's less colors. My machines only have six needles, so I don't want to have to change colors for no reason. So you can select more than one at a time. You just command click on a Mac. It's command click. And I'm choosing all the uh, first stitchings. So let's see. I'll make it. You don't really ever want to make it black because black shows through a lot of threads. So I'll just make it orange. Okay. And then the second color, I'll probably do white. White, white. So I'll change these to white. Like I said, you won't see these stitches. You will not see the beginning stitches because these stitches are just um, so you know where to place your fabrics. That's what these stitches are for, so you know where. You will see the thick stitches, which is here, the satin stitch. This is what you're going to see. It covers everything. So the colors of your first placement stitch and your tap down stitch doesn't matter. Okay. So let me close that. That's what this button is for. It just shows you how what stitching what pretty much and for how long. So now it says I have seven colors. Um, and that is because there's two different whites on here. So let me change these to the same polar white, which is at the top. Okay. So now there's six colors. So that means I don't have to change any colors on my machine. It's done. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So I don't know what I was saying. Okay, so it's six colors. My machines only have six colors on them. Um, if you do have a PE800, which is a machine I always suggest starting out with, a brother PE800, the link to that is in the description. Also, the link to this software is also in the description, so you can download it. You can buy it on Amazon and download it to your computer. Um, and this works for Mac or Windows, so just putting that out there. Um, so my machine has six colors, so... 
I don't change any threads. It, it's going to make do it all on its own pretty much. If you do have a uh, Brother P800 or a 4x4 or something like that, this will automatically stop for you every time there's a different color. So you don't really have to worry about this aspect. But okay, so let me show you how to add a name. So you will click the A, which is, says create a lettering design. And over here is where you have fonts. And I have a bunch of different fonts. Um, so we'll just pick one. Um, let me see. Is there like a Halloween -y font? Here, there's a nightmare one inch font. That is so ugly. Let me see if it looks better when I put a name. Let's try Joseph. Joseph, I do not like that font at all. Ew. Blah, blah, blah. Let's switch fonts. Okay, so also when you pick a font, choose the B, dot .bx fonts when you search for them because that way you don't have to drag and drop one letter at a time. Dot .bx will do it all, um, all at once. Okay, here, this one's a nice one. This looks great. It is called RM Frankie. So here is this, and I don't want it to be blue, so I'll click on the colors right here. And let's see, green. I think green would look good. We'll go back to green. Also, if something, if the stitching looks too thin, you can always click here to stitch in the comp. I would assume that means composition. I don't know really what it really means. Um, and you could thicken it, as you can see, which I would never make it that thick. Zero is normal, and it looked fine to begin with. So you can also see how things was stitched out. If you click on something else, you can see it a little bit better. So I like this design. And to center your designs in the hoop, you would uh, click center design in the hoop so it centers it and then I just move it up to make sure it's centered and then same thing with the name you would click center and then just drag it down just to make sure it's all centered do 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 10 years later okay so this design is it tells you at the bottom right here five and three eighths by seven and five eighths so obviously it fits in the hoop it is uh, five, almost five and a half by se a little more than seven and a half. Um, if you did make the design too big, let's let me just make it bigger. It'll be red. And notes it's telling you this is not gonna fit inside of the hoop. It is not gonna fit. So you have to make it smaller. Let me command Z it. So there we go. So you just make it, just shrink, shrink it. So you can select everything at once and then make it smaller, make it bigger. Um, I'm making it back to normal. Command Z to make it back to normal. Um, let me see. Anything else? If you guys have any questions, you can also comment them in the uh, comment section. I'll try to answer them. And I can always do another one of these. Um, this was just an easy one for Halloween. I thought it was cute. Um, anything else you should know? I already went over the BX fonts, which you can get on Etsy. Um, it's just easier. Don't buy any other designs that are not BX font. Because you just drag and drop them inside, and they will be in the font section. Um, what else would you need to know? Um, on here, it'll also show you the the um, just the order of how it's stitching. So all the way through, what comes next, and it shows you in case you ever get confused on your screen. You don't, you can't tell on your screen. So there's that. Um, that's pretty much it. That is how you design inside um, in Brilliant Software when you buy a design off of Etsy or any other website you buy your designs from. Um, so, yeah, that is it for this video. So, thank you much. Thank you much. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more videos and I will put more content out for you. See you in the next video.